Hi, this is Cheryl of Natural Diva coming to you with my first video. Um, this is kind of new for me, but I'm going to try to make it 15 minutes or less because yesterday I tried to do it and it was too long. So today I want to talk about things, products I use on a regular basis almost every day. Um, I hope you all have recovered from the Super Bowl party. I am still a little sleepy. Okay, so everything I do on a regular, let's start with this, water, this is water, um, I'm not promoting crystal geyser, um, but saying that part of me having healthy hair comes from um, trying my best to have a healthy body, so I try to drink lots of water, uh, I can't say that every day I get in the required amount but my goal every day is 64 ounces Whew, it's some days is really tough but that's what i aim for um and i would suggest if you want your hair to, to be moisturized well that you would make it a habit to drink water not um anything else in it but just pure water water from the sink tap water water of any brand but just h2o and that's it all right hair vitamins these are shin men hope i said that right advanced formula for hair regrowth um someone is following me on a facebook page recommended these um to I think more geared towards um, people who hair might be thinning or um, like it says for regrowth so um, that's not an issue of mine but a person claims that their hair grew um, at a faster pace than the norm which is a half an inch a month because that's what mine has been growing my hair is I've been um, I did the big chop April 30th of 2010 and my hair I cut it all the way down to about a half an inch so it's about four inches four and a half inches maybe um, I've never blown dried it straight or flat ironed it so I don't really know I just kind of take a tape measure and stretch it out as far as I could and that's what it measured to so um, I'm gonna give those a try I've had them for about a week and I will let you all know if in fact my hair is growing at a more rapid pace. My favorite, though, actually, is by um, a company called Grow Afro Hair Long. I'm not sure that's the company, but that's the website that I buy them from. It's like $60 for 90 days. And I can honestly say that um, my nails were, have grown really strong from those vitamins. But um, sometimes they're out of stock, and that's why I go the prenatals which I got from GNC which are much much cheaper um, but they do the same thing and you do not have to be planning a pregnancy or be pregnant to use prenatal vitamins um, they do help your hair grow they do help your nails grow so or a great multivitamin but I in particularly think that prenatal vitamins will help with your hair's health Alrighty, this is one of my very favorites, Miss Jessie's Curly Pudding. Um, I got this bottle on clearance. I guess it appears that in the area where I live that Target is not selling a lot to um, African American women or women who want this curly product. So I'm guessing that... Um, a lot of their Miss Jessie stuff is about to go on sale, and I will be there for those clearances. But I'm a big fan of curly pudding for wash and go um, because it definitely gives curl definition. Um, a lot of pictures that you see posted on my blog and Facebook page just have curly pudding because on a regular, I do wash and go. Today, I made an attempt to try and gel my hair. <laughs> These little four and a half inches up into a ponytail, and it is a ponytail in there. Um, I did manage to get it all in a ponytail um, with a few hairpins on the side. 
because my hair is very stubborn and spoiled and used to being all over my head. So my hair does not cooperate with being um, flattened yet because it is really short and I, and I just um, on a regular just co-wash it every day and go. I'm not manipulating it too much and that's my plan most of the time because I just want it um, to grow freely. So with the, with the ponytail in mind, I tend to go to this, my other favorite, Eco Styler. Eco Styler also, and this one has olive oil in it. Eco Styler um, gives me the same curl definition, uh, Miss Jessie's, um, but it's a lot less expensive. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I really like that. The curly pudding has a little more moisture to offer, but Eco Styler does the same thing. And what I'm going for is curl definition. And I just add, if it's feeling like it, like a lot of gel, so dry your hair because they have alcohol. I try to um, compensate for that by making sure my hair um, is moisturized along with the gel. But I love Eco Styler. Um, this big container, if any of you out there use it, is like $2 and something at a beauty supply store or drugstore. So, yay to Eco Styler. I love it. Use it all the time. You know, it's, you know, if you can afford it, do this. If not, do this. They do the same thing. Um, and some of the other ones I heard of, Kinky Curly, you know, so I'm not... I'm just sharing it with you what I've tried. I'm not necessarily saying that there's a perfect remedy for your hair. You gotta, we, we all have different hair types. You have to do what works. You have to listen to your hair. Your hair will tell you what it needs. All right, something I read about and decided to go out and try and I use every day now for about three weeks is Nexus Pro Mend. And what I liked about what it says is that Right here on the bottle, it says split in binding. And I think what they have in mind with this is that um, for people who tend to um, not within that six to eight week time frame get their ends clipped, this kind of gives you a little grace time to go do it. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try. Add it to my arsenal just to protect my ends if nothing else. Because I do clip my own ends and I do it every six to eight weeks so I don't really have a problem with split ends um and I would probably get a professional to look at my head truly to tell me how my ends are but coming from coming from a family where my mother is a beautician my father-in-law my stepdaughter my sisters you know they all told taught me so much about caring for my hair but I am not a professional I'm just um, sharing my advice on you know growing your your natural hair and um, learning how to take care of it all right let's keep going here along with that um, wash and go eco styler I add this Garnier Fructis sleek and shine it smells so good it has like apricot in it and vitamin b12 it's not completely natural so if you're a natural fan i suggest you find your all natural serum but i like the way it smells and i use it with the gel um it helps with frizz and it does give your hair some oil so that's another thing i've been using a lot um this is silk elements um olive heat protection spray you see that and I think more of my mentioning of this is that if you are going to put some heat on your hair even if you're just going to sit under the blow dryer to condition um, you want to use some kind of protection spray um, I do sit under the dryer to condition and steam my hair I do on occasions when I got to get out the door and go somewhere and my hair is still wet, I'll diffuse it um, and it's still in the wash and go more than likely or I want to just stretch my fro out, um, that's when I'm using it. So use some kind of protection with any heat 
All right, let's see what else we got. I'm out of this, but I kept the bottle because I use it. This is Carol's Daughter. Once again, black vanilla leave-in conditioner, which I love the smell. I love the smell of her stuff. I'm just into aromas. I'm just, I am, and it just smells so good. But it's a leave-in, and I use a leave-in every day, and I suggest you use a leave-in every day. But it's all natural. It smells great. Um, what you see in here right now is Cheryl's Made Up Leave-In Conditioner, which I will talk about what I use um, to make it. But, you know, when I'm splurging, I use Carol's Daughter. When uh, um, when I'm, and I still use mine because everything in mine, I know exactly what's in it. I know it's natural. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Okay. Carol's Daughter. Hair balm. Good for oiling your hair. It smells so good. It's got soy oil, sweet almond oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil, which I swear by coconut oil. Um, I didn't bring it out here, but I use um, I use pure coconut oil to oil my scalp almost every other night. Um, so I'm a big fan of coconut oil. But again, love Carol's daughter. Two reasons. Smells absolutely wonderful, um, as evidenced by my husband sniffing my hair, and uh, natural. All right, what else I got here? Shea Moisture Products, down to the bottom there. Look at that. See how empty that is? Because I love it, and I love the way it, excuse me, smells. And um, it's it sells at Target, and they have a whole line now. And I also use their Shea Butter Leave-In, which I used up, which I would buy again. Lots of my natural hair friends like Shea Moisture. And you know what? It's reasonably priced. A lot of things are like $9.99 or less, depending on what you're you're getting. It's not, com I, I guess I have to read this little tiny writing, but I can tell you it has sea kelp, argan oil, which lots of people use, Shea Butter, um, and it's just... It strengthens your hair. It's good stuff. It smells good too. Uh, let's see. Carol's daughter again. Hair milk. I got that right. Yeah. It's like it's it's good for curl definition. Depending on your hair type, this might be all you need. This was all I needed when it was an inch or two, but now mm -mm, gotta do something else. It's getting thick and it, you know it's not as obedient. So, but I like. Um, Carol's Daughter again because it's natural. I know it's good for my hair, so I use it. Um, she's come a long way too. Um, I've been using her stuff since it came out and I'm just really um, excited about her growth. But I'm a big fan of Carol's Daughter. And you know what, honestly, some people say that some of these hair products can be expensive, but you know, there was a time when I would spend 60 to $70 every two weeks going to a salon, getting a touch up and a cut. And I spend less than that on this stuff because you don't need a lot. And probably the only thing that I say, I question me spending the money on is the curly pudding because I use way more than the instructions call for to get the effects I want. You know, they say like a dollop or a golf ball size. I use way more than that to um, get the curl definition I like. So I question that as far as the money um, aspect. And the last, if I could squeeze it in, is Lush. L-U-S-H. You can buy online, www.lush.com or if there's a Lush store in your city. But I'm trying not to use hair coloring on my hair. So I... Um, use henna which comes in a big bar I uh, mix it with warm water and uh, kind of mix it up get it all kind of creamy and sit on my hair for a few hours while I'm around the house and I know I'm not going anywhere all right so I'm down to my last 30 seconds I want to thank you all for following me please join my blog if you have a naturaldivas.wordpress.com or on Facebook and I hope to come back with you with a lot more information that you can use. And uh, have a blessed day. Peace.